Hey guys, uh, welcome to another post rapid concept workshop here in San Francisco for APSA. Uh, we've got Justin and Christian. How are you, gentlemen? Great. Great. All right. So tell me, you've just uh, completed your uh, second day of the rapid concept workshop. What were your thoughts? I thought it was a really, really good process, and uh, like I was saying earlier, I don't think we would have gotten uh, exactly to where we needed to be. Um, like with, like we're there's a much more strategic step. Uh, Moving forward. Yeah, like like it's kind of mapped out a little bit better for us now. We know we know which way to to approach it, where it's not just sort of like, how are we gonna do this and mm. and, and how are we gonna get everybody to be on board? Now it's just like, wow, this is this is the way that we can get people on board. And it, and it makes more sense and, and it's and it's logical. Yeah. You know? There's a game plan, a strategy in place. Absolutely. So where you were uh, before you came in and to the people at home, uh, the boys have actually flown in from Hawaii for this, so a bit of a trek to get in. Shows you our yeah. commitment, which is great. But um, where you were, let's say last week, to where you are now, do you feel like you've uh, you've made the right move by undertaking this process? Yeah, leaps and bounds. Definitely, we have, we we have so much more direction, and even from just the first day yesterday till today, you know, we had we had a sense of direction yesterday, but it's been refined so much more since then. Absolutely. And it's a lot more clear, and we've gone over so uh, enough more details to where our strategy is has been outlined to a point that's more manageable. Mm -hmm. It was a little bit more overwhelming yesterday. Last night it was daunting. Like I was like. We're done. We're not. We might not be able to do this. But know? not so much because of the process, but because no. we we're still trying to bite off more than we could chew. Exactly. Yeah. So, what was the without giving away too much IP? What was the sort of uh, indicating moment or the actual moment with Esto in the actual process where you thought, okay, let's chop it back to the MVP. Let's you know concentrate on a lean mean version. You know what was it that sort of pivoted? Well, we had we had our idea and actually try and we thought it was the MVP, but then once we further refined it and we started to break it apart and see that there were actually like multiple steps within that one process already, and that we by refining it further, you know, it's allowing us to be able to grasp the project in a in a more manageable way, and uh, and let it to let it evolve mm -hmm. at a at, you know at, at a more fruitful pace. Instead of just trying to do everything all at once. Exactly, and it doesn't need to. It doesn't need to be, like we we've, we've come to the realization that it doesn't need to be a product that's on the market tomorrow, mm -hmm. and and we're gonna miss out on on, and and the rest of everybody else is gonna miss out on our product because mm -hmm. it's not out tomorrow. I mean, realistically, it's just not. It's just not how it happens, and 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 if you come from a real, real realistic approach and not such a, a, a dreamer approach as most entrepreneurs or most people think that their their idea is, is going to help everybody and everybody wants it and you come from a more realistic approach and you say hey this is going to help people but we need steps in order to get there mm -hmm. and and what the what the RCW has done is made it so that shit now we have a not, now we have a way to get there mm -hmm. you know what i mean part of my language <laughs> um, but then you know, it, it makes it like, it's much more of, of you're dealing in reality mm -hmm. now, you know, and it's not, it's not out of reach and it's not, it's not just a dream. It, it's That's awesome, man. And I guess, um, you know, I'm, I'm very interested in, because I know you guys, uh, you've done your due diligence. You were very savvy in terms of your competitor analysis. Um, what was the, sort of the the main reason you chose Apsa as opposed to the other developers that you investigated? Um, your web presence, your website in particular, we felt, uh, well, you know, I think a lot of, one of the main concerns for most people just starting out is confidentiality. And you guys mm -hmm. seem to have, uh, place an emphasis on that on your website with the NDA and, right you know, say what you will about that. Uh, you know, to somebody just starting out, that could be what the make it or break it thing, you know. And, and it was for us, actually, because because we didn't have, I mean, we had our own NDA, but then when you guys offered one, you guys said, hey, we're just as willing to protect your idea and we want to protect your, 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 um, concept, basically. Exactly. And, and as much as, you know, we want us to protect our own approach to this whole thing and we want you to, to respect that. 
it was like, yeah, like we get it, like, like it. Mm. It is important because you know, it, at the end of the day, it's a two hundred billion dollar per annum industry. You know, that's that's not small fish, and you know, it's the number one reason why startups fail is because they sit on their idea for too long. Right. You know, and so I can tell you a whole bunch of other things that 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 actually drew, drew us to to Abster. Another thing was that you guys are young, you guys are hungry, you guys are coming into a market where you guys are small fish coming into a, a very big pond, you know, you guys are, you guys are Australian based and yet you guys are trying to come into, to, to, um, uh, what's the place? Uh, San Francisco. Well, San Francisco, but also uh, Silicon, Silicon, Valley. Silicon Valley, you know what I mean? And, and that's, that's a huge, that takes balls, yeah. you know, and, and, and we see, we saw that and, and we kind of related because we're small fish ourselves trying to get into this big pond. Yeah. You see more focused on like the startup angle rather than someone who just has a grand idea and it's going to be big right from the get go. You guys seem to place a lot of focus on people who have no idea what they're doing right. and, and just have a good idea and, and are willing to learn the process and, and get their get their feet wet. Yeah. And especially, you know, we like the, the angle too of like, hey, we understand that you probably don't have a lot of money, so let's try to let's try to do this. You know, with a lot of the information that you guys send us, especially with the the manifesto, the um, the white papers, the white papers, and also the uh, bootstrappers manifesto. I mean, that that's that was some information that we were like, wow, this is us. Mm. You know, no, let's go, boys. Well, look, uh, thank you so much for your time. Absolutely, we, we, thank it was you a guys. pleasure having pleasure. you guys here. Uh, we'll keep you updated at home and uh, let you know how the guys go in the in the coming months. But uh, yeah, we've got some uh, good feelings about this one. Absolutely, right on. All right, guys, have a good one.